Tenemos en Venezuela a unos opositores eh, que están organizando primarias y eh, organizando las elecciones del próximo 3 de diciembre de este año 2006, tratando de sentar a Esmarmatic o, o, o al CNE o al CNE de Esmarmatic, qué sé yo. Lo cierto es que esa empresa le está dando dolores de cabeza ahora aquí a, a los votantes, a los, a los electores de Estados Unidos. Algo de, quizás no de, que nos deba alegrar porque bastante vaina que nos echaron en Venezuela. Vamos a ver qué, qué dice este reportaje de CNN sobre eh, esta empresa propiedad de empresarios venezolanos que ya organizó sus primeras elecciones en Estados Unidos en la ciudad de Chicago. Tonight, new evidence that the federal government has its supplies, electronic voting machines, and counts the votes. But your government didn't even review the sale. Who should worry about democracy? Kitty Pilgrim reports. Smartmatic, based in Boca Raton, provides voting machines in local elaborate of international holding companies owned by Venezuelan businessmen. Smartmatic Group NV of Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles owns Smartmatic International BV of Amsterdam, Netherlands, owns Smartmatic Corporation of Florida, which bought Sequoia Voting Systems of California, USA in 2005. When Smartmatic bought discussions with this program today, Smartmatic lawyers admitted we were contacted by Treasury about a week ago and we have provided documents over the last few days. The big worry for U.S. elections is Smartmatic and other voting machine companies are private companies. They have proprietary verify if a proprietary system is tamper-proof. All of the voting system vendors in the United States are private companies. The problem is the closed-door proprietary nature of the process. The closed system we have right now makes it extremely hard to find out what's going on, and that means that should a thief get in a position of power, we would never know. Some voter watchdog groups and others in Congress are calling for a full review and say the ownership of all electronic voting companies should be reviewed to determine if it poses a risk to U.S. elections. The U.S. Treasury Department today would not confirm or deny if a so-called CFIUS review was underway on Smartmatic that they were not reviewed by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. When they were bought. That no one at the Treasury Department, no one in this federal government took one look at this transaction. They absolutely did not. And meanwhile, the, uh, the election people in the federal government have no concept of who they're doing business with, how in the world it'll work, whether or not they can assure us that this election in the terms in nearly every state is accurate and verifiable. In fact, the Chicago officials admitted to us that they thought they were dealing with a Florida U.S. company. Well, we know what we're dealing with, and it is a dysfunctional government that is trying to render our elections precisely the same. Kitty, thank you very much, as we will continue reporting on what is an outright threat to our democracy, to the integrity of our voting system, and to our elections process. Uh, thank you, Kitty. Kitty Pilgrim.